Check it out, folks. Do I got the conversation piece for you? Listen, today we doing cranberry sauce from the can versus the real deal Holyfield. Let's get it. All right, so look, now I'm gonna go ahead and just ask the very first question, right? Everybody talks about this on the internet, so I'm gonna ask you guys, do you like authentic or do you like it out of the can? I'm gonna answer and tell you what I like the best at the end, but I'm gonna show you guys that wanna keep it more traditional. You know what I mean? I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. Now look, I want you guys to take a look at this right here. Not a whole lot of ingredients, right? So this is this versus this. Super simple. And by me saying that, don't forget, I just launched my website, www.smokingandgrillingwithab, and that's witab.com, right? For the full printable, downloadable, screenshotable, whatever you wanna do, your boy got you. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and just get started. First thing I'm finna do is, I'm finna bring this up, cause we wanna start off with it like, ah, about that right there, like a medium high flame, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and add my water. This is a half a cup. And I'm gonna add my sugar and let it all melt together, right? Then, when it comes to the orange, because if you guys didn't know, man, this is super simple to make, you know what I mean? And then you figure out what you wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this orange in half. You know why? Because we got to juice it. So I'm gonna take it like this and just juice this to get a half a cup. So I'm gonna bring this back into play. I'm gonna use my hand as a strainer just to catch any seeds. And then we wanna get to a half a cup. Meanwhile, we starting to boil and dissolve our sugar. Okay, so if you get in here and you take a look, look, my sugar's dissolved. Man, if somebody tell me why I don't have a juicer, why I had to just, uh, and squeeze and muscle that. So we'll just add this to it also, right? We wanna get it all to boil on its own, right? Don't forget folks, we making our own cranberry sauce. Okay, check it out. That's what's gonna happen. Half a cup and these ingredients that I just told you, you're gonna see the orange on the top and the aromatic that come off of it just gonna make you, you know, say mm, you can't wait till it's over with now let's look at let's talk about these berries when it comes to these berries look i'm gonna start adding some of these in here you know what i mean we want to get these to pop right so i keep that heat up the way it is and i'm just gonna keep stirring it like this you know what i mean we're gonna cook some of it down it's gonna thicken up a little bit you know what i like a little bit more than that but you want to save yourself some back right so look this is just one package cranberries and then for those of you guys that ain't never seen cranberries this is what it is. All right, so as this is coming back up to heat, I want to see a little bit of bubble, right? I want it to boil. Look, you remember that cinnamon stick that we saw in the beginning? We're going to drop that in there and we're going to let that, you know, work its magic. Now I'm going to keep quit running my mouth so you can hear. When I tell you they're supposed to pop, I don't know if you just heard it right now, but I mean pop. That's exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so that popping you hear, that's authentic, folks. So when I say pop, I ain't saying pop lock, but do whatever you want to do. You want to get all of these to pop. So you're going to need to hear quite a bit. You know what I mean? But we'll keep that heat under the bottom. I had adjusted it. I'm coming back, making sure I'm like at that medium, a little bit above medium. Meanwhile, check this out. We want to get some of that flavor too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my little peeler. And I'm gonna just bring this down like this. All right? I'm gonna take that one. I'm gonna go ahead and tear this orange up because ain't nobody gonna want to eat it after this. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take that and just for good measures, let's do one more. And there we go. Look at this right here. You know, I got, you guys know I got that channel, you know, bottoms up with AB. Look, we use this a lot. Squeeze this, it's a lot of flavor in here. So take a look right here. Let me go ahead and give you some ice cream candy right here. You see that right there? Yes, sir, that's what we want. I'm gonna just drop these peels in. We'll get them out later and we'll just stir this up. And this is gonna give us our flavor, folks. You guys gotta trust me, just the aromatic that's coming off. Don't forget we put that cinnamon in there. These are the things that just make it go over the top. Now, we didn't put all of that in there. You know we gotta get some balance, right? So I'ma just take it, one, two, three. Oh, just a pinch of salt. That's all we need, folks. And you guys know I like that, what kind of salt? That's right, I like that kosher. And I like it to be on that, you know, that coarse grind. Okay, so you can see how it looks. Now we just wanna cook this for about, I'ma say about eight to 10 minutes, but you can see it's doing its thing. All right, so if you come in here right now, you'll say, oh man, that's probably ready. I don't want you guys to skip this step, you know what I mean? Because first of all, you got to get them soft, you know what I mean? So they look like that. And notice this, it's six minutes in, and I'm putting in the rest of the berries. Reason being, I like to keep them, you know, for, the, for them to look whole. It's about that presentation, right? So we just do it like how you just saw me do it. You can see them on top, but you don't want to eat a, a hard cranberry. So these next four minutes are going to be crucial. 
And that's only gonna do is that's gonna make them like get soft. Okay, folks. So look, let's look at it after 10 minutes, right? Put that down right there. I'm gonna turn off my fire. Remember I said I wanted to keep some whole. They've all popped. And look at that right there. Look at that gel. Now we starting to look like the can, right? I can tell you this too, and I'm gonna go ahead and just be honest with you. I just went ahead and tasted it. It tastes just like the can, but with the berries. You know what I mean? Uh, listen, the cinnamon and that orange juice makes it, I'll, I'll just say that right there is what does it. But if you see it right here, whew, look at that. Mm-hmm. Okay, folks, so this had a little bit of time to, you know, to chill. I'm going to put this in here. Look, that's my cinnamon. That's my little level up right here, right? So, and then don't forget, we got this in here too. Remember the orange peel? But along with the fresh orange juice, you see that right there? I don't know what to say. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm at a lack of words. Now, look, I got Tupperware. Look, this happened to be, you know, glass, right? This is still a little bit on the warm side. I'm just going to put this in here right now you guys can double this recipe you know what i mean and uh you know go from there as far as how many people you're gonna have but i promise you don't dilute it don't try to stretch it just double and triple triple it all right so look this is cooled enough you see i kept the top off but i want you to look at this if i hold it there it's moving almost like jelly or jam now imagine when i put this into the refrigerator it's going to set up and be a little bit on the firm side right so i'm gonna put this top on put this in the refrigerator and i'll see you guys tomorrow Okay, folks, now listen, the magic of the camera. Listen, it's the next day. Obviously, you can tell by my clothes, right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so you guys can see. This is overnight. I got this right here, cause look, I'm finna taste this. But you can see, it's like hard, you know what I mean? But by the time you put this out, your guests get in there to eat, you know what I mean? This will be a little bit on the soft side. So if I just take it, cause one of the things I wanna do is I wanna take my cinnamon out. Some of you guys might want to take it out, but I like to let it stay in there and let it just marinate and, you know, spread its cinnamon flavor throughout. You see this right here? Look at that right there. That is the exact same thing. Now, I know some of y'all done had this before. You went over your auntie's or somebody's house and you had cranberry. You was like, Ugh, that's just not the same, especially after you taste it, right? So it makes us turn our nose up. But I can tell you this. Hmm. Ocean Spray or whoever these people are that's making this, they need to contact me so we can level that up. Super simple. And don't forget, y'all, I tell you, simple sometimes work. Now, let me go ahead and plate this. Okay, folks, listen, this is it right here. Look, I'm not finna over talk, oversell and just try to convince nobody, this right here is fire. And then in the beginning, I told you guys, I'll tell you which one I prefer. When I go to somebody else's house and I'm eating, this including my family, listen, when I'm there, I like it to see it out of the can. Why? Because they didn't make it the way I make it. Because these two right here is just like perfect. Now, with that being said, don't forget, I got the printable recipe, new website out, all of that. That's smoking and grilling with AB.com and that's W-I-T-A-B. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know how I leave. Guess what? Boom, I'm out.